Hello and welcome to Sobrix. I'm Adam and this is Sobrix. This is my channel for reviewing Lego sets and building them and other Lego related stuff. In this video I'm going to be taking a look at the Lego City race car and car carrier truck. This is set number 60406. It has 328 pieces and I paid $30 for this set. This is another new city set for um, January 1st, 2024. Uh, pretty interesting looking one to me. I did, didn't know if I had a firm grasp on exactly how big this one was going to be, this race car. Uh, and I thought the concept of, of having the race car and the sort of truck uh, that is his transport vehicle was a, a pretty cool one. The color scheme looked nice and uh, it just seemed like a good set. 328 pieces for $30. Also doesn't feel uh, terrible considering other LEGO City uh, prices for certain sets. So uh, I wanted to take a look at this. So in this video, I'm going to open this up. I'm going to put this together and then I'm going to share my thoughts on it. So while I build, I will speed the video up and then I'll slow it back down to review this set. So, until then, enjoy! Okay, while we look at the build for this LEGO City race car and car carrier truck, I wanted to say thanks for watching and then remind you if you like this video, click the thumbs up, give it a like. If you like my other videos, click the subscribe button. That helps me a lot. So we start out building the race car and I, I actually liked how this came together. The grill was pretty cool. Some bracket usage, some kind of studs not on top type stuff. Uh, and as far as the like fenders go, they're very much the same ones that are used in in some speed champion sets and so I thought they'd maybe feel too big or something I loved how the back windshield was done uh, and the rear there so I'll go over that more in the full review and now we go on to the uh, car carrier truck so we use some of those technic bricks those long ones there for kind of the core of this thing and that's to allow for some of the functionality um, and uh, they don't really make chassis in the same way here and you can see how kind of the basis uh, or the foundation of the truck bed sort of uses those uh, Technic bricks there as well. Here we're making kind of the lift for the ramp, uh, and now we'll actually kind of build up some of the cab and then put together the uh, entire ramp, which is the real kind of truck bed here. It's it's uh, very tiled out, feels very finished, and the functionality is really good. We finish up the build, kind of building the uh, cab of the truck, applying the last few stickers, adding the tires, and uh, actually doing a brick built roof there so pretty interesting and uh, now on to my review for this set Okay, so here is the Lego City race car and car carrier truck set uh, This is pretty cool pretty interesting. I like the idea a lot. I think the execution is pretty good uh, and there's a lot of things to look at here. You know, one of the main draws for me to um, get this is I've, I've looked at like the custom car garage and I've also looked at a lot of the um, Lego uh, like 2K drive sets, I believe um, they were called. And, uh, and I really liked some of those. And then I love speed champions. I've looked at a couple of the six wide speed champions and I've looked at many more of the eight wide speed champions. And, um, I like the, I, I like building Lego vehicles and stuff like that. And so this, uh, spoke to me. And then also I've looked at some of the city vehicles, like the electric sports car, which was like a $10 box, uh, from the last couple years. And I've looked at a uh, one that was like, a where a, a, a crook or someone bumped, like ran into an electrical device and the fire department had to come and a police motorcycle thing was there. And that had kind of a sporty car in it. And now there is a, um, there's another new city set that is a police car and muscle car chase. And I just like uh, these, these kind of sets. And I thought this was a really interesting idea. Um, and I know there actually have been some trucks that were like part of the speed champions line that 
I think where it's supposed to be transport trucks and stuff like that, but I'm, I, I don't have any of those. So uh, I was really, really interested in this. And um, so the first thing we'll take a look at is the minifigures because you do get two of them. So the first one here, I'm assuming this is the driver for the kind of race car. Uh, they have kind of a driving coat on or jacket. It has different logos. The color scheme is really nice. It matches the build, matches the vehicles, so the team colors are nice. I couldn't pinpoint what the uh, logo is, and I, I can't tell if it was supposed to be a bat or if it was, you can see uh, right here, if it was a bat or maybe it was an owl or a hawk or something like that. But that's there, and then we can see it on the back of the torso as well so i think it's some bird of, of some sign or a flying animal maybe but uh interesting there and uh this character has a pretty standard face uh printing there and head print uh no alternate face hair piece is good and then they do have the helmet i'm glad they have both nothing on the midsection nothing on the legs nothing on the arms pretty basic city minifigure there and then we have another minifigure which is kind of also wearing team clothing here but i'm assuming this is as per the instructions the one who maybe is uh, uh driving the car carrier truck so they have maybe kind of a leather coat with a shirt underneath that also has the emblem there they're wearing a different kind of hat have some facial hair some glasses no alternate face because of the hat no hair piece for this one and then uh back of the torso very simple nothing on the midsection nothing on the legs but good minifigures so those are the two minifigures there and you kind of get just one for uh, driving the truck and one for driving the race car and uh, then you have these two vehicles and they're split up. There's two instruction booklets in here. You build the race car first and then you build the truck. So that's kind of how we'll look at this. Um, overall, I can't tell, you know, this is pretty much six wide. So at the canopy here or at the windscreen, that's four wide. And then the fenders stick out a little bit more uh, there, but it seems to... Uh, you know, follow the constraints of typical city vehicles here. Uh, there are stickers in this set. And let me find the sticker sheet uh, so we can see that. And so some of them are used on the car. Some of them are used on the truck there. I'll kind of point them out as we go. So up top, this is a sticker right here. Uh, it matches it's almost like got like a blue lightning bolt type thing or something like that or maybe it's like talon claws or something uh, on the back on kind of the spoiler or this uh, wing kind of thing back here we have a sticker there and a sticker on the other side uh, this is one sticker here same on the other side uh, no sticker like for a license plate or anything like that nothing on the front there but those are the couple stickers and uh, this is pretty cool. It does use uh, one of these kind of six wide chassis pieces there. Uh, and uh, I don't know how many studs it is long. It does feel to me a little smaller than like a six wide speed champion here. And this is a, a, a great a great little design. I really like, um, you know, how the front end is here using these kind of pieces. Having those clip pieces underneath there is very nice. The grill, the headlights. This uh, cheese wedge here to go to this slope is a nice angle, a nice profile there. Uh, the parts here kind of in the hood are uh, well realized. The uh, roof can come off very, very easily. We can sit a minifigure in there in the center. They have a steering wheel there, uh, and that is nice. And then uh, I really, really liked how the back was done. I love this design here. It reminds me of uh, some real life cars that have, uh, you know, interesting kind of. Um, stuff on the back window or the back windshield that doesn't look like you can see through it really but just the way that they, they're angled you can and that was uh done really nicely these are uh, a good piece and underneath there is a bunch of uh, clip pieces uh you know modified plates with a clip that are used there and so i really like the look of that i was trying to make sure i get them kind of at like a, a good angle there and it's a little bit hard but i think they're essentially supposed to just kind of be like flat and then 
descending sort of down and that looks really cool it meshes up with the roof there really well looking at the back we have maybe like exhaust or different stuff uh, some lights at the rear and the other side is very much the same no like doors here or anything like that uh, and that's pretty much all of it I think you know these this character could uh, be in here with either their helmet or their hairpiece let me just see what it looks like with them in there and we get it like that so very cool uh and as far as technique goes you know there's not a ton of unique stuff in here i think there's like the whole uh front of the uh the grill here is like studs on the side and bracket stuff same around the side here same around the side here but a lot of it is pretty standard lego building i would say uh which is nice i think the overall look is really good I don't know what the colors are exactly. I, I'm actually having some difficulty seeing that. So this color that's down here right above the black, I can't not say for certain if that's different from the fender color or like this color for the uh, little bar pieces here. That little piece is different from this piece. So please let me know in the comments below. I think they are different uh, and I think they're kind of supposed to be almost like a pinkish and maybe a teal kind of deal here like the colors that are on this sticker. I'm not 100% positive, so it's hard for me to judge the like the color blocking necessarily because I can't really tell some of the colors apart, but as far as like where these stickers are and from what I can try to deduce based on my limited color experience, uh, it is pretty cool. It looks pretty sleek, pretty smart, sporty, and I do like that it's uh, consistent with the kind of uh, drive team, you know, logos and their outfits and everything. Uh, so it's pretty pretty great let me just make sure we can seat this person in here with their hair piece and we can so good that's a nice consideration there because they does have kind of the bun at the back of their hair so there was maybe a, a version that they wouldn't fit but uh, they do which is very very good um, one of the things I would have liked to see and I guess it makes a little bit of sense why it's not here but also maybe not is uh, I love the custom car garage kind of custom ab ability uh, at the front and the back and I, now that I'm looking at this this might uh, you be able to use some of those um, things let me grab one quick And I'm wondering if this one has some similar color schemes here. Not really. But if I take this, will this go on here? Interesting. Okay. But it's that's not going to work based on the height there. But um, so the 2K sets are the drive sets uh, and the... Um, custom car garage sets introduce this kind of clip system with the bars on the side and on the front and the rear and they came with different sort of uh, attachments and accessories to be able to put on a vehicle there um, I would have loved for them to continue that in the Lego City line I guess I don't necessarily think that every uh, Lego city car or vehicle needs to have that but I would like it to see it continue it doesn't continue in this set um, I mean like I said it kind of does up here I don't know if that's intentional or not but it it's really dependent because this has such a low profile and it's so low to the ground um, and there's very little clearance already when this is uh, rolling there so the one that I just had from a, one of those 2k drive sets um, wouldn't have have worked even though it did clip onto these pieces there but that was just something i was kind of like i was wondering about uh overall it's a it's a very small car but it's a nice toy and it's only half of the set or a third of the set or you know uh however that breaks down and then the rest of the set is kind of this uh car carrier truck now this is a uh 
really interesting thing because I didn't know how the scale was going to be. I didn't know how the truck was going to look with the car on here. And uh, there's a lot to look at. There's not uh, as many stickers. This uses the same sticker that is on kind of the spoiler at the back here, uh, kind of right on the front, which is cool. And then uh, we have one, two stickers there on the side. And then we have one, two that stickers over there and that's all of them so this one this one and this one and two of these are on the car and then um so what is that one two three four five five on each uh vehicle there which isn't bad at all uh and this is also six wide for the most part you know the wheels add a little bit more and i was really surprised to see that i think it works really well like right here it's a little wider that gets out to like eight wide there but for the most part this is six wide so when you start building this whoopsies when you start building the truck you start out with this like window piece here uh which is is kind of unique uh and the front like bumper area there that's kind of like the grill so i like to see that then you work your way back here and you do build uh kind of the base for the truck bed there and it still felt a little bit too short for me and then you build the uh the ramp and where the car is carried so that's this whole bit here so the car sits kind of like this on there and these sort of pyramid pieces these triangle pieces kind of fit like right underneath sort of where the fenders are and so when this is on there uh, it actually doesn't feel like it's gonna fall off it's on there pretty good now it really only works uh i, I guess it kind of works this way too so it could like drive off of there but uh you know forward rather than than reversing or but uh i don't know which way it's like intended to go i think this way just based on some the images official images there but it it feels pretty well like secure on there without having anything going over without having anything like really holding it in the back i wouldn't be too worried about like pushing this and having this like fly off or anything so that's a really good choice of pieces here uh which i like to see uh, and looking at the ramp more that we have a nice interesting panel piece here which has anti studs down there and then studs on the other opposite sides so we have a little bit of translucent there for some lights potentially uh nice use of those pieces this is fully tiled out here and then have these slopes at the end and then as you may have seen there's kind of a, a functionality here that this can be lifted up and uh you know tilted to allow for the car to drive up and kind of be loaded up or to get it unloaded and that's a super simple function using some some technic uh stuff in there just a couple pieces it's uh pretty smooth it's pretty easy it doesn't like this uh doesn't stud down in there or anything even though it looks like it it might uh and so uh it's got, it's heavy enough to like hold itself down uh, and look really good there's no like real gappage even right here um and stuff like that and so the that functionality is really really nice it doesn't even look too bad underneath there so uh very very good to see that and then once you build kind of the back of the truck bed uh we can see there's some translucent back here for some lights we can see uh there's a little bit of the mechanism back there so theoretically you could probably uh have you know have this on there like that or maybe it's too back heavy then but uh that's how some of the mechanism goes this is all tiled out right here which is really nice this has some studs visible and uh has those kind of pyramid pointy pieces uh there i really like how the front end was done this almost reminds me of like the logo a little bit here uh, almost like there's eyes or something and the way that they have even translucent pieces like they have these corner tiles here but then behind all of um i wonder if i can get that off right now behind this they had oh there's some translucent right there as well uh which is is cool and then we have the cab and the cab is also uh center uh seating there has a steering wheel has the printed uh kind of control panel dash panel speedometers there this is 
tiled out wells and this is actually like a brick built roof area here so uh it has these areas which go over the kind of columns these pillars here or i don't know if they're exhaust or whatever uh but that's kind of gets stacked up with those half like it's a round brick at the bottom and then it's just the half round brick up through there and then gets the tile on top and then that gets covered up with these kind of key ring pieces here and i really liked how this roof was uh brick built nice use of these uh, kind of slanted slope pieces which are cool and sometimes you see those used in speed champion sets that's like headlight pieces or something so nice use of those here it does look really great with it on it just uh, works really really well it only studs down two places right there and right there a little more translucent and the uh, cab is uh, pretty good and it looks good with a person in there again no like doors on this uh, vehicle or anything like that but we can see the character in there looks all right and from the side as well and we can have this loaded up on there and you can kind of play play with these as one and play with them as separate and maybe they would even race each other sometime and uh it just really works for me uh this one does have bigger tires it's a truck so it, it probably should these are printed they are kind of the the rims or like the hubcaps there these are like a speed champion like wheel here and i can't remember now it's been so long if that's the older style speed champion wheel or the newer style one and i'm assuming because it's a new set this is a newer style one um, and then it has these kind of covers there and they have this printed uh, stuff on them and I think it's like ZTJER or something like that and I don't know if that's supposed to be a word or if it's supposed to be gibberish or if it's a reference to something a designer something in danish i have no idea um but that's printed on all of those so pretty unique there i'm glad i'd rather have that than you know stickers or something uh and it does make it look a little more finished and a little more classy and also almost like it's a licensed set which it is not uh and i just think the interplay between these is really cool it's a really good idea i would love to get my hands on some of the like car carrier trucks that are are with speed champion sets i know there have been like car or like trucks that carry um like space shuttles and trucks i think there's a new creator three in one where it's like a truck carrying a plane or a helicopter or something like that and i just really like the concept it's something i see out in real life and this is a really good idea for a city set in my opinion and some of this might even be able to work with some of the stuff um from like the custom car garage for example and having you know uh as part of a lego city having like a culture of of uh you know racing or car enthusiasm or whatever else uh and this certainly adds to that so that's really nice the build was fun it wasn't terribly difficult it's a six plus set but uh I think it looks really, really good. So I'm very, very pleased with it. As far as the minifigures go, they are okay. You know, they're city minifigures, so they're about right. And um, I don't mind that at all. We can show the extra pieces here because you do get a couple, including kind of all the little translucent pieces you get for different lights, the uh, visor for the race helmet, a Technic pin, the pyramid thing there, a cheese wedge, and a one-by-one -one plate so all your typical little pieces and this set is 328 pieces and it costs $30 um, for two vehicles uh, and I don't know if that's too bad actually you know the more I'm thinking about this I thought it was a good deal at first when I first bought it when it was first announced now that I have it here you know I don't know if this is a it's a ten dollar vehicle it's probably even a little more like I don't know if Lego would put this in one of the ten dollar city boxes um just thinking about like some of the ones like that electric sports car from the last or the the newest one which was like the steamroller the city construction steamroller this seems like a, a little more involved uh and just uh more pieces and um some different stuff going on here that i think this probably wouldn't be 
in a $10 box. Maybe it should be, but I just don't know if it would have been. So even if I put this at $10, is this $20 here? And um, the answer is probably no. I don't know if for just this truck, if I'm into spending $20, although, you know, a speed champion used to be 20 bucks, $20 rather, and then they were 25 and now they're going up to 27. So, uh, on some, in, in some way, maybe this is a good deal for $20 for this kind of truck. Um, I'm used to, for Lego city sets, uh, the $20 like great vehicles like the penguin slushy van or the family camper van or different things like that those are at like the $20 mark and then can kind of reliably be found uh, on sale or they used to be and if this was in one of those I don't know if this would have felt complete enough to me it's very much a two-pack and they I think are greater than uh, the sum of their parts here because the interplay works so well and the theming is really consistent and so it really does feel like you you know and it was intended to be a two-pack where both of these are at once so trying to figure out how much i would pay for the the car carrier truck uh, alone is maybe potentially irrelevant and and same for this one uh the minifigures aren't anything special yeah i mean 30 dollars doesn't feel that bad it's more than 300 pieces i think i've long thought that city sets are kind of overpriced and i I may be cha changing my tune on that. Um, this is uh, this is so so. If it was cheaper, I think I I you know that would be great. If this was you know bumped down to the twenty seven dollar mark or the twenty five dollar mark, I think that would be really lovely. I'm happy it's not more than thirty dollars, um, thirty five dollars or something like that because I d I don't know if there's that really makes sense here and. When I do start breaking it down into its component parts uh, and trying to ascribe a value to them, I'm not sure if it makes sense at $30 for me, uh, and 35 would definitely be worse. But if you were able to ever find this set for 20% off, you get $6 off. That brings us down to $24, and I would say that's a super fair value. If this is $10 and this is $14, or if this is $12 and this is $12, or however that breaks down, uh, I think that makes sense. So I don't know uh, if the value at retail is actually too far off. It feels fine to me. Um, so uh, that's that's pretty good there. And overall, I really like this. I think this is a great idea and executed pretty well. And I'm excited to look at the like that police car and muscle car chase set that released alongside of this because I think that one was ten dollars cheaper. So that was a twenty dollars set, and it has you know. 100 less pieces or 100 fewer pieces uh, than this one but it's still like two vehicles and they'll probably be smaller than this truck but um it, you know we'll sort of see because I, I i then i might have a firmer grasp on how to compare like uh w whether or not this feels like 30 dollars to me i certainly had a lot of fun building it uh it's designed very well uh, a lot of fun talking about it so very very happy with it and the value is uh iffy for me but it almost makes sense so that is good if you like this video please click the thumbs up and give it a like if you like my other videos click the subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all the lego videos i'll be doing here in the future including more lego city like that new lego city police car and muscle car chase set as well as some other lego city sets and then tons of other lego themes uh all different kinds of sets big small old new uh so subscribe so you don't miss any of my upcoming lego videos and if you want to support this channel and support my videos here you can do that right here on youtube with membership supers and thanks and i have the patreon it's in the video description linked on my channel page patreon.com slash so bricks and uh, i'm going to keep trying to deliver good content and all that stuff for those members and patrons and it also just helps me a lot so if you do feel like supporting it is appreciated maybe consider checking those things out I am very, very grateful, and with all that said, until next time, thanks, bye.